What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. In the Resident Evil 4 remake, there is a trophy to play through the game only using a handgun. So I thought I'd just make a quick video going through what I think the best handguns are in the game. To do this trophy, you'd ideally wanna go into New Game Plus. So you're gonna play through the game once already and ideally max out one of your handguns so that when you start the New Game Plus doing handgun only, your gun is as powered as possible. In terms of the handguns that you can use, you can only use ones that use handgun ammo. So you can't use the guns that use Magnum ammo, such as the killer nine or the hand cannon or the broken butterfly so there are three guns that i would recommend to use first off is probably one of the best all-round guns in the game and that is the blacktail so i've got this here maxed out including the exclusive upgrade that each gun has they have their own unique upgrade so for this gun we've got a maximum power of 2.40 times 1.5 thanks to the exclusive upgrade ammo capacity is probably the weakest point of this gun because it only has 13 bullets where other guns can have up to 20 plus bullets reload speed makes up for it it's got a very high one which is 1.6 and then rate of fire 2.2 which is really good another key advantage of this gun and it's really important especially in the first third of the game is that in your attache case it only takes up four slots so it's quite small and leaves you space for ammunition and health etc and all the other things that you'll need the next gun is the most powerful pistol in the game which is the red nine when you play through the game you will find this for free you don't need to spend money to get it you will find it for free in the middle of the lake once you get there and as you can see when it's fully specced up it's a very powerful weapon its power is 2.70 times 1.5 ammo capacity is 16 reload speed 1.25 rate of fire 1.26 so the thing about this gun is that you can also buy an additional stock which helps with the recoil that just means it takes up even more space in the attache case which i will show to you in a second so this is the most powerful gun but it's not the best in terms of handling. So I think this one is really good when you have very powerful enemies and you just want to take them down quickly or stagger them whilst you deal with the other ones with a different gun such as the Blacktail. The third gun and that I would recommend for your handgun only playthrough and for a very particular reason is the Matilda. You get the Matilda through trading with the mer merchant, trading spinals in that you get from challenges. So this gun's power is 2.0, ammo capacity is 30, but if you get the exclusive upgrade, you can times that by two. So now your gun has 60 bullets in it, which is really handy for when you have loads of enemies, which happens a lot of times in this game. Reload speed is 1.4, which is decent, and rate of fire is 1.63. The great thing about this gun is that you can also get a stock from the merchant and when you attach that stock to this gun it becomes a three round burst gun which is really great because it kind of basically acts as a submachine gun for me going through the game doing the handgun only playthrough which you will need to do for the platinum i started off with these three and by the end of the playthrough to be fair i just stuck with the matilda most of the time because it had the 60 bullets in it and it had the three round burst so it was really good the only disadvantage i'd say of this was that you'd get you go through ammo quite quickly let's take a look at the guns in the case in the case this is the black tail this is what i was talking about it only takes up four squares so it's really handy when you start off your case will be a lot smaller and you want to fit in health fit in ammo and fit in kind of story items as well then here you have the red nine and by itself it takes up six blocks but then when you attach the uh stock which makes it a lot more precise and less recoil and you will need that it adds a further four squares so it takes up 10 in total here you have the matilda which just like the red nine takes up six uh blocks and then when you add attach the stock that takes up three so that takes up nine in total so it's just something to be conscious of so in sh terms of showing off how good the guns are we'll start off with the black tail and remember these are fully specced up guns so this won't be how you start off a new game um so one shot with that enemy which was probably a bit of luck and yeah, because this one always, um, as part of the story, this one always becomes one of these zombie types. So 
the red line is really good it's just can be a bit awkward to handle especially if you don't have the stock and then if we push over to the matilda this is quite nice as you'll see if we just bring this guy out so this is that three round burst which is just awesome takes him down immediately whenever you're playing through this game i would always recommend using the black tail i just think it's an all-round great handgun to use whenever you're doing your various playthroughs but if you're planning for oops if you're planning for um new if you're planning for the handgun playthrough Sorry, my aiming's a bit off. I haven't played this game in a while. So in terms of going through lots of groups of enemies, the Matilda is just great. 60 bullets, three round burst. We get interrupted by this guy, this gentleman with the chainsaw. <laughs> so as you can see, that was just a group of six people and taken down pretty quickly. Still got 19 bullets left. So those are the three guns that I would recommend. Um, you've seen them all in action and they are pretty good. In terms of reload, it's pretty quick. I think the Red 9 is the slowest. Let's just bring the Red 9 back out for a bit more. You just move around a lot more when you have the Red 9 equipped. It's not the most tightest in terms of accuracy and... This guy's having a lot of trouble over there. And then we'll see how effective the Matilda is against this bad guy. Pretty good, just takes him takes him down, no problem. Again, he's kind of like a I don't I don't want to say a sub boss, but he is kind of more powerful than normal enemies and just took him down comfortably with the Matilda. The three round burst is great kind of when you're overall with enemies like you are now it's just really good I haven't reloaded once I'm now down to one bullet so just took down what four normal enemies or one's just become a zombie again but took down three three and a half normal enemies and one of these big ones um, in one clip with the Matilda so it is definitely worth it so once again the Matilda with the three round burst once you get the additional stock the red nine is good as it's the most powerful handgun so it's just handy when you have much stronger enemies so if you're being attacked in a group it's good to just switch to the red nine shoot down the more um, stronger enemies or stagger them a little bit switch back to the Matilda or the black tail and then carry on taking out the um, other enemies and then lastly if you're really interested I made this quick little spreadsheet which covers all five of the pistols. I've excluded the one that you get in the deluxe edition because I think that's a bit unfair. Not everyone's going to have that. And I've broken it down by each of the characteristics of the weapon. So power, ammo capacity, reload speed, rate of fire, precision. I've included the cost for fully maxing out each individual um, subcategory and also the total final upgrade cost and whether or not it's compatible compatible with the laser sight so only two guns can be used with the laser sight and that is the SG-09R which is the gun that you begin the game with and the Punisher which is the gun that you can trade the merchant for for the uh, spinals that I mentioned earlier spinals spinals don't know how you say it so as you can see here the most powerful weapon is of course the red nine second is the black tail Matilda is pretty average, but it makes up for it with the three round burst and the fact that it has a huge ammo capacity. Red Nine and Black Tail have the lowest ammo capacities, but they are also the most powerful. So you kind of got to weigh it up. If you're landing your shots on the enemy, then ammo capacity shouldn't be an issue. One great advantage the Black Tail has is that the reload speed is the highest out of all of the handguns and the rate of fire is also comfortably the highest compared to all of the other weapons. And then in terms of final upgrade cost, yeah, you're looking at um, quite a bit. So it will be around 300,000 for the um, Red Nine and Black Tail. The Matilda, I do think, sorry, I think that that is incorrect. The Matilda should be 298. So for these three that I'm recommending, it's about 300,000 um, 
don't know why that formula is wrong. Sorry about that. So the Matilda is actually 298,000. Yeah, not too much more compared to the gun you begin with, which is the SG-09. That's 224,000. Punisher is 200,000. So you're much better off just kind of collecting treasures and combining them to make as much money as possible. And then just working on these three guns. These are the three that you really want to use. Those are my tips for the best handguns to use for the uh, trophy, which involves playthrough of Resident Evil using the handgun only. Good luck in getting the Platinum in Resident Evil 4. See you on the next one. Take care.